Nowadays, fine-tuning of our universe is being used by many scholars as the proof of existence of God. They say everything on our earth is so perfectly fine-tuned for the life to exist that it cannot happen by chance. There must be some super intelligence who has designed this all. In its favor, it is argued that our earth is located at the right distance from the sun. It has water and all different types of food for us to eat. The water cycle, food chain and the cycle of seasons is working so perfectly. We have air to breathe, right temperature to survive, ozone layer to protect us from harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun, and atmosphere that saves us from the life-threatening asteroids and lot more natural things to nurture and keep us safe. According to pseudoscientists and religious gurus, it is not possible to neglect the presence of a super-intelligent creator after seeing all these perfections. But is this claim true? In this video, I will discuss why science doesn't need any God to explain the creation, working and fine-tuning of the universe. So please watch the video till the end and watch it as a rationalist by putting aside your religious beliefs at least for the next few minutes. I'm sure you are going to enjoy these convincing arguments. Since ancient times, it's been the nature of human mind to connect anything to a supernatural cause which is beyond his intellect. We actually do this because it's the simplest way that we can adopt and there is no way to explain supernatural causes because they cannot be tested or verified. As soon as we attach a tag of supernatural being to anything that we cannot explain, all questioning and search for real truth stops. In old days, when science was not that developed, we used to think that there is some supernatural cause behind various natural phenomena like raining, earthquakes, volcanoes and many other cosmic events like solar eclipse and lunar eclipse etc. But as our science developed, we found that there is no supernatural cause responsible for it. They all have natural causes that can be explained by science. This has not happened only in the past. Still, in the present time, there are many unanswered questions that are used by religious scholars to prove the existence of God, because even the modern science is not developed enough to answer these mysterious questions yet. But once we would find scientific reasons to explain this phenomenon, their faith will collapse. Friends, here I want to make it clear that I'm neither an atheist nor I want to say that God doesn't exist, but I am a seeker who wants to know the truth. All I want to say is, if there is some natural answer possible to a natural phenomenon, then why we need a supernatural power or supernatural cause to explain it? We should try our best to understand the hidden signs of the universe to improve our knowledge about how this beautiful universe works instead of simply attaching a label of God to stop all logics. Some of the mysterious phenomena that have not found any satisfactory scientific answer yet are why our universe is perfectly fine-tuned and have extremely precise values of many universal constants. Why certain mathematical patterns and intelligent natural designs are seen at many places in living and non-living things? How the mind-boggling complexity of DNA was created by the process of evolution? Who created the universe? What was its purpose? What is consciousness? And many others. First, it is important to know that God has not fine-tuned this universe for life. Actually, life has fine-tuned itself 
to survive in hostile conditions. If you look closely, you will find that life is extremely rare in this universe. It doesn't seem at all that God has created and also fine-tuned this universe for life to exist. If God is super intelligent and all-powerful, then why would he create a universe where the process of evolution of life would take billions of years? Our universe is full of extremely dangerous things and events like supernova explosion, black holes, harmful radiations, and asteroids, etc. These all are not friend, but the enemy of life. If you see the whole process of evolution of life starting from the Big Bang, you will understand that if any super intelligent being created us, then why it has chosen such long path to create life. According to the Big Bang theory, our universe started with the Big Bang before 13.8 billion years ago. Then atoms were formed and they combined under gravitational force to form gigantic clouds of dust and gases. This cloud transformed into massive stars after billions of years. In the core of the stars, heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen and oxygen were formed, which were essential for life. These heavier elements scattered away in the universe after supernova explosion and again combined to form other bodies like planets, etc. This slow process again took billions of years to complete. Gradually, out of these planets, life evolved on planets like Earth, which provided favorable conditions for the life to exist. Not only this, life has seen many catastrophic events in the Earth's history, and even now, we don't know how long we are going to survive. So, to argue that God has created and fine-tuned this universe to produce life doesn't seem logical. In the present time, there are many scientific theories that can naturally explain the creation of the universe and evolution of life. So, in this scientific era, to consider God as the only creator of the universe would be a very weak argument in comparison to other solid scientific theories. Friends, let me ask you, is it sensible to think of a super-conscious creator who is beyond all causes and logics to explain natural scientific phenomenon? Even if we accept that God is the one who created the universe, then even a bigger question arises, who created this God? And how that infinitely complex God was created? I want to say that if more logical and scientific reasons exist, then we should not present God as the only argument for the creation of this universe. To favor the fine-tuning argument, it is claimed that even the change of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth in a universal constant can result into drastic changes in the universe. So, it is the God who has set the precise values of all the universal constants so that the universe can work properly and life can evolve. But it may not be true. Let me explain how. To create a stable and workable universe, all the universal values that we see in this universe need not to be in exactly the same ratio. A different combination of these universal values can also produce life. According to a research paper published in 1985, formation of atoms, stars, galaxies, and also their age can be changed by only four constants. These four constants are the strength of a strong nuclear force, a strength of electromagnetism, mass of electron, and the mass of proton. An American particle physicist, Victor Stanger, found that if we reduce the mass of an electron by 100,000 times and also reduce the mass of a proton by 1,000 times, then the atoms formed after these changes would behave exactly in the same way as they do in our universe. Hence, it was demonstrated that on changing universal values in certain proportions, a stable universe could be formed. So, fixed values of universal constants is not necessary 
for the formation of a working universe. Physicist Victor Stanger also varied the values of these four constants by five order of magnitude above and below their actual values. By varying these values, he wanted to know what is the possibility of formation of such universe where heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen and oxygen could be formed. Actually, these heavier elements along with hydrogen are considered necessary for the creation of life and they are formed only in the core of the massive stars. This process of formation of heavier elements require at least 1 billion years after the Big Bang. Victor Stanger analyzed nearly 100 possibilities. After analyzing, he found that out of these 100 possibilities, around 50% universes will exist for more than 1 billion years. Therefore, the formation of heavier elements would be possible in these universes, which was necessary for life. So, these experiments show that there are no set rules and values essential to create a universe. Therefore, extremely precise values of various universal constants is not unique. If one of these values is changed, then to compensate it, other values need to be changed to form another possible universe. Hence, to claim that God has fine-tuned these values to create the universe makes no sense. As we know that there are billions of galaxies present in our universe and each galaxy contains billions of stars having their own planetary system. So, you can imagine how many planets our universe contains. So, it would not be any surprise if we could find millions of planets having Earth-like conditions to support life out of trillions of planets. Therefore, no fine-tuning is required by any god to support life on a planet. Actually, life would try to adapt and fine-tune itself to the hostile conditions of its environment. Here, you also need to understand that life may evolve even in extreme conditions. Even on Earth, we see different species of microorganisms living comfortably under extreme harsh conditions, having very high temperature, pressure, and almost with no water and oxygen. Therefore, it would be wrong to say that life cannot exist on a planet if that planet is too hot or cold and has no water or oxygen. Life may have evolved there in different circumstances. So, after considering all these arguments, it is highly probable that life can exist on many planets without the need of God to make everything perfect for us. Now, let me ask you a question. When you find a perfect pair of shoes for you in a shoe store having large collection of shoes of different shapes and sizes, do you think that the manufacturer has designed a pair of shoes especially for you? No. Actually, there are different types of shoes which also include the shoes that fit you best. In the same way, the infinite universe has all the possible conditions and values of natural parameters and life starts to flourish in the region of the universe where they are favorable for the life. There is a famous example of monkeys which is generally given to prove that this universe has been designed purposefully by a super conscious being or God. It's been argued that the universe is too complex to come into existence by its own. Suppose millions of monkeys are typing on millions of typewriters. They keep on pressing random keys on the typewriters for many years. Now tell me, what's the chance that this random typing would produce Hamlet, the famous play by William Shakespeare? Now, to prove the existence of God by this example, it is claimed that if millions of monkeys cannot produce just a book by random typing of keys, then how this vast and complex universe can come into existence with randomness by its own? There must be a super intelligent designer to design this fascinating universe. Because 
information comes from intelligence and evolution cannot explain it. But here we need to understand that the process of evolution doesn't work like random typing by monkeys. Actually, natural selection acts as the selecting agent in the process of evolution. On the basis of natural selection, the nature selects some designs out of many existing designs and propagates them. More stable designs and stronger species survive in the process of evolution. So, we can explain the monkey's example by the evolution theory. In this example, monkeys can write the Shakespeare's play if there is a selecting agent present that can select a meaningful or desired word as soon as it is formed by random typing. The selecting agent also chooses a desired sentence once it is formed with these selected words. Hence, by continuing this process of selection, it is possible that monkeys can write Hamlet after a certain time. This is how the natural selection of evolution works in the universe. Hence, after seeing the complexity of the universe, God should not be considered as the only cause behind its creation. Still, there are many questions that need to be answered. So, it is not possible to stop people from considering God as their possible and easiest answer. And who knows, maybe one day we will find the mysterious God. So, this is all for now. Friends, what do you think about this video? Please write in the comments. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching.